Emmanuel. My name is Joseph A.J. I'm from Benue State, but I reside in Kano. The problem that brought me to Synagogue Church of All Nations is the problem of setback and uh, constant uh, urination, as in bedwetting. That is the reason why I came to Synagogue Church of All Nations. And I was opportuned to obtain the anointing water. So when I go back to my, where I stay with my friend, so I minister sure. the anointing um, water. Before we, you continue with your testimony, can you just tell us how was it like during these days you were experiencing this problem of bedwetting? Yeah, it was tough. It was really a big problem because um, when I was 19, that is when I noticed that this problem is a serious problem because I, I have a, where I stay with my friends and each time I sleep, I will have the certain dream that uh, I'm traveling or I'm driving. So I will come down from the car, I will urinate in the dream. And when I woke up, I will see myself wet. So each time I woke up, I will just remove my knicker, remove my trousers, and uh, I will dry them up. Before they break, the place will dry a bit. But I will still lie down that the same position so that my friends will not know what really takes place in the, in the night. So this has been happening to me. I go for prayer, I fasted, this thing continue. As I'm talking to you now, the people that knows me never know I have this problem. But it's me, myself, and my wife. It's not quite long that my wife knows that about this problem. Because each time it happens to me, I will either draw my son close to myself in the night, and I'll tell my wife that, ah, it's like this boy has related though. She will say, ah, Say, uh, this urination is more than my son's uh, urine. No, this one is too, is too many. I'll say, uh, you don't know that this boy drink water so much yesterday night. So that's how... Uh, it, it's funny, but I, I, I know what I'm saying. I know what I passed through. But I thank God uh, for Emmanuel TV. Because uh, my wife, she understands that it's not normal. So she told me that, uh, please, I should try. So each time I want to do any good thing in my life, or maybe there is a position they want to give in my working place. I want to apply for that position. That the same dream will not come. Each time I if I go to that, I will never get that thing. You talk about miracle. I've never explained what is called miracle in my life before. I only go and I will get what I want to get. But I say, ah, this kind of miracle that happened to me, that I come to the Church of Nation, has never happened to me. Sir, can you tell us for how many years did you experience this terrible problem of bedwetting? Yeah, this is 14 years now because I was 19 now, I'm 33 years old. And this is 14 years now I have been experiencing this problem. So what happened? Yeah, what happened was that last year I finally lost my job. So I now told my wife that I have to go to a synagogue. All this one they are saying, hey, you should not go to synagogue. They will bring place CD for you. You cannot help us, so let me go. Because uh, those people cannot see what I'm seeing. And each time I slept, I will see the man of God delivering me in the dream. I say, ah. So at times I will sneak to synagogue. I've never come here before, but at times I will sneak to synagogue. The congregation, people will be many here, but nobody will see me. It's only man of God that will see me. Say, hey, what are you looking for here? I say, okay, it's like when I come here, God will see me through. So I, and I came this year. When I came this year, I opportunity to get anointing water. I go back to my way, I stay with my friend. I minister it. Ah. So the same dream now come again. I, I urinate in the dream. Serious urinating. When I woke up, I was afraid. I said, ah, this is my friend. I did not told him that I used to bed wet. Make him you know, come pursue me, come up for your house. So I, I checked myself. I did not see anything. I said, ah, oh, wow. So when I saw this miracle be. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Brother, we would like you to explain to us what happened after you received the anointing water. Yes, what happened was that if, before I came to Sinai Church of Venetia, I have as in look for a job i've sent my cv to many places but since then they are even they're supposed to call me they are supposed to go for interview face to face but they are calling me on the phone and interview me on the phone that as i told them that i will come but let me give a testimony of what god has done for me first before i came down to, to Kano. concerning the issue of bedwetting after you ministered the anointing water what happened Yes, ah, after I minister, there is nothing like bedwetting again. No? I thank God that nothing like that again has come to me. Even that dream, nothing again. Put your hands together once again for Jesus Christ, the miracle worker.
Wow, we can see that indeed our Lord Almighty has taken away the garments of shame and disgrace from our brother and has given him the garments of praise. And sir, tell us what God Almighty has done in your life. What can you say about the anointing water? Ah, this one, uh, people are calling me, but me, it's me, Zylo, because uh, I've never experienced a uh, uh, miracle. They say miracle. I, I, I always watch people having deliverance, see miracle, maybe somebody will bless them. But it's when I came here that people started blessing me. So people will look at my face as a normal somebody. Before, in any good thing that they are doing, if I'm there, I will not receive that good thing. No. In short, even before they have prophesied for me, it will not work. Anybody, one, one, one man of God told me that I will go to London. I told him that, I, London, I said, okay, I should go and prepare my load. I know that because people have been prophesied for me, nothing like that has been happening. But I'm surprised that I use anointing water and I'll be able to be saved from this issue of bedwetting. I give glory to God. Wow, we thank God Almighty for what he has done in your life. Tell us now, what is your advice to people who are experiencing the same problem you once experienced? Yes, uh, before I give the advice to the viewers, please, I want to beg man of God to help us. Like in my village, we don't serve God. They don't serve God. Nobody is progressing in that village. I came from Benway State, Obadi Goloka government, and I know my people, some of my people are here. So I want man of God to help us. Please. And I send one of the evangel evangelists to go to our place. Please, man of God, help us. Um, sir, like I said earlier, what is your advice to people who are experiencing the same problem you once experienced? Yes, um, the advice I have to give them is that run to Synagogue Church of All Nation. Because I know, even some, of, some people have been saved from such problem. But maybe they feel ashamed to come and testify. And I believe, and I'm sure, when you testify, you will see more glory of God in your life. So please, if God has done such thing for you in your life, and if you are having the same problem that I'm having, I beg you, I use the name of God, beg you, come to Synagogue Church of All Nations. That miracle that you have never seen before, that glory, that blessing, that breakthrough you have never experienced, the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua will do it for you, in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God Almighty once again for what he has done in your life. And like you said, testimony glorifies God. When we give testimony to God Almighty, we encourage him to do more and more in our lives. And we pray and believe that the best is yet to come in your life in Jesus' name. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter ce merveilleux témoignage de cet homme qui nous dit qu'il faisait face à beaucoup de régressions et aussi faisait face à un grand problème d'énurésie nocturne. Il faisait pipi au lit, ce qui l'affectait beaucoup. Personne n'était au courant de sa situation, même sa femme, car lorsqu'il mouillait son lit, il mettait son enfant à côté pour faire croire que c'était l'enfant qui avait pissé. Alors... Pendant 14 ans, il a fait face à ce problème et il a eu l'opportunité d'arriver finalement à la synagogue église de toutes les nations où il a eu l'opportunité de recevoir l'audention. Quand il a administré l'audention et a prié avec, il a encore rêvé comme quoi il a pissé, mais quand il s'est réveillé, il n'était pas mouillé. Ses affaires ont commencé par marcher. Aujourd'hui, là devant nous, peut remercier le Seigneur car son problème a complètement disparu et il appelle le peuple de suivre Dieu car avec Dieu, tout est possible de ne pas faillir, de croire en Dieu pour que tous nos problèmes soient résolus au nom de Jésus. Los señores, acabamos de escuchar el testimonio de este hombre a través de la calcomanía y del agua de unción. Ese hombre nos cuenta que por seis años empezó a orinarse, incluso se casó y al momento de casarse su, eh, su esposa descubrió que la cama estaba mojada y empezó a culpar a su hijo de que, de que su hijo se orinaba sin saber que su, su esposa era el, este hombre quien se orinaba. Y es así como este hombre al venir a la sinagoga adquirió el agua de unción, ministró el agua de unción, dice que inmediatamente ese problema desapareció. Tuvo una pesadilla en el cual se orinaba en el sueño, pero cuando se despertó descubrió que ese problema desapareció, que no se había orinado de nuevo, y es así como él vino a confirmar su testimonio para la gloria de Dios.